The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 638 Let It Go. With a slicing of wings, Valet glided to a stop on the Immortal Dream's deck, crouching and letting Starlight hop off her back. Well, here we are, she sighed, looking at the door below. Want to place bets on the odds of that prince still being here? Starlight didn't, so she kept quiet. But the bridge was empty, and so was the library, and at the sounds coming from the hall below, everyone there was at least having a good time. Hello! Valet flipped down the staircase, the ship's dining hall brightly lit and smelling of laughter and food. Around the table, everyone was present, from Gazelle to Wallace to Shinespark to Senesei and all her sisters. Gerardo helped Maple carry a deep, steaming tureen from the kitchen, while Amber sat next to Slipstream and giggled at a joke, and even jam jars lurked in a corner, laying on one of the room's side benches with a plate of scalloped potatoes. Shinespark sat limply, propped up in a chair with pillows and eating using her horn, and Amber immediately waved. Ah, hey everyone! Valet blinked, no sniffing, smelling stewed carrots and leeks and mushrooms and onions and turnips and everything savory anyone could ask for. Bananas, what's the occasion? Who needs an occasion for a feast, young Valet? Wallace grinned, holding a plate that was smaller than his talons. Maple carefully set her vat down, adding more rich, earthy smells to the room as it steamed. Well, I had already started preparing something fancy when Gazelle showed up, and I didn't want the work I had done to go to waste. It's quite simple, really, Gerardo proclaimed, marching around and pulling out two chairs, then pushing Starlight and Valet toward them. We've all come to the joint consensus that things are entirely too stressful for you around here, especially following that conversation on Wallace's ship which is frankly ridiculous, considering we have resources aplenty and no one around who wants to be our enemies. If you still want to go to Miss Vale, you'd be hard-pressed to leave us out, but first, we are all going to sit down and have a good time. It's been quite the show with a good time already, Felicity sang, her long, carefully styled mane tied back so it wouldn't risk touching gravy. Your friends here really know a thing or two about letting loose. <laughs> Maple blushed. Mostly both free, she murmured, pointing to Wallace, Marina, and Diego. And Amber. Gerardo jumped to his friend's side. And Slipstream. And also Prince Gazelle. Uh, Gazelle looked up from a loaf of bread that was half bisected by his razor teeth. I'm a prince, he said, with his mouth full. You expect me to not take my revelry seriously? Uh, Senesei folded her ears. Serious or not, it's very nice of you all to put this on for us. Sounds like it has as good a reason as any to me, Gazelle proclaimed, patting her heart with a wang on the back and nearly making her choke. So, what's all this reaching my ears about an excursion to Mistvale? He raised an eyebrow at Valet. Ah, Valet hesitated, completely unsure of what he knew and what she should say. Fortunately, Wallace jumped to her aid. Prince, he boomed, a twinkle in his eye. What say you we leave worrying about the future to the future itself? Some of us actually don't take the chance to let loose every hour of the day. Gazelle actually listened, and the room suddenly went about its jovial atmosphere as if Valet had been there all along. Starlight sat to her left, the filly's initial surprise having been pushed aside in favor of sliced bread and a bowl of soupy stew for dipping, and Shyspark was on her right, slowly lifting things to her mouth that didn't require a lot of chewing, watching Valet all the while. Hey, Valet gave half a grin. Good to see you up and about. How much better are you feeling? A small notepad hovered up beside Shyspark, set itself on the table, and she quickly wrote something. Just whispers, but hard to hear here. Writing fine? The valet tilted her head. Your horn works again, though? Shyspark smiled. Hey, good to have you back, though. The valet returned it with a grin. Maybe once this quiets down a little, we should hang out sometime? Please visit. Lonely sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah. Valet's ears fell. Sorry about that. Been a little busy with everything. Yeah, though. But hey, at least this helps with that. Absolutely, Shinesburg scribbled. And it's okay. Heard you have it bad. Valet rubbed an ear, scanning the table for what she wanted to indulge in first. Yeah, it's been a ride. So, this is all Maple and Gerardo's idea or something? Sure seems successful. 
Amber and Wallace's Maple and Gerardo helped. Very successful. You enjoying? Valet took a deep breath, surveying the entire room. Maple, Amber, and Shinespark, friends she deeply counted on. Gerardo and Slipstream, less close friends who were still friends anyway. Wallace and his crew, whom she was fighting desperately in the tournament, yet were completely on her side. Gazelle and the Bat Ponies, who seemed to want to be friendly, even if she had no idea what they were up to. And all of his Valdi outside, with an insane advisor and desperate ruler and rotten core, yet still peaceful and determined to be nice to her anyway. You know what? She nodded slowly at Sean Spark. Yeah, I think this is actually exactly what I needed. Thanks, Sparky. Thanks for doing this, everyone. She raised her voice a little so the last part could be heard and immediately got nods from around the table. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you, darling, Felicity assured, waving her hoof. We can't just go about having parties like this for no reason or it would completely spoil the special quality and become simply normal. And from the limited tidbits I've heard, this is in your name, is it not? I mean, I guess, Valet glanced at Maple. It's Iron Flanks who did all the cooking. And it's you who wants to go to Miss Vale, Larceny muttered over her food. Don't know why, but it's sounding like you need a cheering up. Ah, <laughs> Valet folded her ears. Yeah, so maybe I had a bad day. Look, if you guys are trying to talk me out of going, oh, quite the opposite. Felicity gave a reassuring smile. Mistvale is actually quite a nice place, provided you enjoy magically perpetual fog and eternal twilight. I haven't been briefed on the specifics of your quest, but if you stick to the backwaters, it could be a very relaxing or pleasurable getaway, and that's rather easy when the whole entire place is basically a backwater. Valet grinned nervously. <laughs> Thanks? We're actually thinking of a little more than just vacation, Maple murmured. But is it actually nice? When I think of Mistvale, I sort of imagine... Pirates and wastelands. Amber shuddered. Uh, Felicity sighed. Well, yes, there are pirates there, mostly along the coast, but the whole place is actually quite heavily forested and green, so I'd hardly call it a wasteland. Really, all you need is a guide who knows the area, and you'll be perfectly fine. Her eyes widened and she reddened slightly. Well, not to self promote or anything. Valet tilted her head. You want to come too? Gazelle cleared his throat. Political bother and Stormhof. You wouldn't want to hear about it. Felicity here might be trying to lie low for a bit. You know. Bad pony things? Amber folded her ears. That's one way of putting it, Larceny muttered. The point is, Felicity politely insisted, all of us still feel dreadful about that incident with Starlight and the hospital, and until you're absolutely sure we've made it up to you, we're in your debt. Now, I may not have been in Mistvale since I was a filly, but I am still a local, and I owe you, and I feel like it would be better for everyone were I to take a little siesta of my own from life in the Empire for the time being. It's a win-win-win, darling. I don't suppose you'd feel badly about letting me help? Valet thought for a moment and stared at her food. Her stomach rumbled. You know, hold that thought. I'll think about it. But for now, I got some stuff to do. End of chapter 638